day on the beach. The water is as amazing as it looks. A great pier, but you have to watch out for the slivers. <laughs> Put your slippers. We're at Cafe Magagua for their famous frappuccinos. Oh yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I need to stay away from these, but oh my goodness, these are good. And they're 80 pesos. Am I gonna get any of mine? No. Uh oh, whatever is a fat kid to do when his beautiful wife steals his coffee. That'll stop me. You got me figured out. <laughs> okay, now you need to come over here and enjoy these before they melt. One of the cool things about coming back here is visiting all of the friends we have made. This morning we're going down to the Colonias, down in the middle of the island where a lot of the locals live, to have breakfast with some old friends. And for Kate to watch pigeons digging through trash. <laughs> Well, we had breakfast with our friends. It's really nice. And pretty much didn't do anything else the rest of the day, but yeah. went to the beach. <laughs> yeah, we went to the beach. Then uh, we went to the beach this morning. And uh, so we figured we should probably start uh, doing a video again. Yeah, so we're gonna try this place. Hot tomato pico de gallo and homemade chips. Can't beat homemade chips. Why don't you try some of that hot? No. I will make the guy. Chicken. Yep. The nachos are all really good. It's the best guacamole I've had so far. It has the right amount of salt, ripe uh, avocados and spices. Pico de gallo has enough lime in it to give it a bite. This is, uh, this is really good nachos. I can't help it. I can't. My mama told me to look people in the eye, not the iPhone. <laughs> Next, this is Bokchuk, and it's a Mayan specialty. It's pork chop. And this one is mole and chicken. But I'm not really the biggest fan of mole. So that's Chris's. Pork chop is moist and it has pepper on it. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Try the mole. No. Pollo and mole. It's good. Really good, solid mole. This is the first time since we've been back in Isla Mujeres that a restaurant has tried to scam us on the check. And so we cannot recommend Vinales. Um, they took it off as soon as I caught them, but that's not the point. They tried to be dishonest, so no tip and no return. We're trying the little place right next to the church and the basketball court. Sopes are 15 pesos and quesadillas are 25. I love sopes. So good. Huh? That's yes. Chicken has lots of flavor. Really good. Always good when you're sitting in bed and going out in the middle of the night. Satisfying. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. Oh, well, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> and then the quesadilla. Ooh. Little stand by the church was definitely worth a visit. I just found 34 pesos and- No, you didn't. <laughs> I just found 35 pesos. No, you didn't. <laughs> I just found five pesos and there's a little game I like to play. It's if I can find it 34 pesos, I can buy my favorite coffee drink, but only if I find 34 pesos. <laughs> we 
we are gonna try out this new cafe, Aroma Isla. You know, all over the world, we love our frappies and our frappuccinos. Rich, creamy, this is a good one. Oh, I haven't tried the whipped cream. You know if their whipped cream's terrible, they're gonna be really bad. Oh, that's good whipped cream. So. There you go. Well, with that high recommendation, I guess I'm gonna drink mine. <laughs> Well, what do you think between here and Mogadwa, Cafe Mogadwa? Uh, I would say the they're tied for fraps. They are about the same. I feel the same. These are good. The only thing is, the seats are more comfortable over there than here. I was thinking these seats were maybe a little more comfortable. Oh. Well, so, so it's a tie no matter what we do. So yeah, here at Cafe Mogadwa, either one. Yep. Got a winner with the frappes. Yep. We just found out why their frappuccinos taste so much like Magaguas. The same family owns it. <laughs> we got a late start today. Yeah, you know. One of the hardest parts of the day is trying to figure out where we're gonna eat. Today I think we're gonna try the burgers at this new sports bar called Snappers. There's the owner right there, Mr. Nash. That's a big screen television for the sporting events. And they also have two pools. We've tried their chicken wings and they are awesome. Now we better eat before I get angry, which I am starting to get angry. <laughs> Don't get Katie angry. I guess it's time to order then. Yikes. Fries are fantastic. This satisfies my craving for a burger. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Fries are great, burgers are pretty good. I like it. And I'm no longer hangry. <laughs> well, that is a good thing for all involved. What do you think? Think we should feed you some ice cream later just to make sure the hangriness is gone? Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> well, look who we found. We thought he was old when we first got here three years ago. But he, and he's still alive. Hey, Ponchito. Hey, buddy. That is an old cat. And still lazy. <laughs> this is the art fair. It happens from December to April. Ooh, local artisans out here. Some expats, some locals. Animal children. Cool. Tomorrow, it's time to go play with some puppies, okay? <laughs> Nobody says no with puppies, right? That's true. Yeah. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>